Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back, and we're doing another video for the new game, The Dwarves. And this one just focuses a little more on combat. I've been spending, uh, unfortunately, because it's a new game, there's really not a lot of gameplay help information. You've got to pay a lot of attention to the side quest and basically do them all, it appears. So I want to touch base on a couple of things before we get into this. One, uh, I have seen a lot of talk about uh, game time, the time that you've played. Uh, most, A lot of people are saying they finished it in eight hours. Um, that may be. I'm certainly not disputing anybody that's claimed that. But you can see I've got 15 hours played and... Maybe two to three hours of that was in my first game, just kind of getting used to it. Uh, maybe three hours, more, closer to two, I think. Unfortunately, I can't split up the time. Um, but uh, you can see I've got 15 hours, so roughly 13, 12 to 13 hours in this current playthrough. And honestly, I'm not sure how close to the end I am. Uh, there is, uh, let's see, if we go back into here, well... So you have the the initial tutorial scene, then you have the game start scene, and then you have the first travel map uh, that you have to get through. And then from there, you have the second phase of the main journey, of the main quest, to get to the first Dwarven Stronghold. And then from there, you have to get to the second Dwarven Stronghold, and that's where I'm at now. And then once you get there, the, the, according to the quest, we've got to create a magical artifact. And then from there, we have to somehow get to kill our main protagonist uh, that killed our, uh, well, I don't want to give the whole story away, but we've got to c c get together and kill the main protagonist. What I don't know is after that spot in, in getting to that second dwarf stronghold or actually it would be the third one um just to gather the the materials to craft this this artifact weapon uh how quickly we progress to the end game um uh, it's possible that it's right immediately after that uh again you know so 8 10 12 15 uh, i'm thinking i'm going to be somewhere between 15 and 20 you know about 15 to 20 hours when I finish this. Granted, I'm not playing as fast as possible, but you know, time is time. I mean, it, you know, you have to finish the quest in a certain order. Uh, you have to progress at the pace that the story goes. So I'll leave it up to you to decide what the value to to time ratio should be to make a game worth its worthwhile. Um, you know, maybe it is not worth 40 bucks. Um, I've enjoyed the game. It's a game that I've continued to play. There's been plenty of games that I've bought for 40 or $50. And five to 10 hours in, I said, this game sucks. And I've never played it again. Uh, that is a waste of money. If I get to the end of the game, well, you know, and, and I've played it and I've enjoyed it. Well, to me, then it was not worth a waste of money. Um, you know, would it be a better value at 20 or $30? Well, sure. But, you know, you determine, you know, instead of bitching about a, a maker of a game and the price they put on the game, you decide if it's worth that kind of money. You don't have to buy it on the day it comes out. Um, you don't have to buy the game at all. There's nobody forcing you to buy the game. And as I said, I've I've spent 50, 40 or 50 bucks on a multitude of games. You know, I've probably burned $2,000 on games that I regret buying. Um, so if I spend 40 or 50 bucks on a game that I can actually play to the completion of the game, then it, to me, that's worth it if I enjoyed the game. And it, so far, this seems like a really good game. I've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed the storyline. Uh, there's been some some tweaks, you know, in the story that have really spun me for a loop. Uh, but anyway, back to the game at hand. Uh, we're getting ready to start a combat sequence. And we've gotten to a point here that I kind of wanted to walk you through it. 
uh, just in case you weren't aware. So up here at the top, we have all of the characters, and we can scroll through here, that we are able to choose from. So one, two, four, six, eight, excuse me, 10 characters that we can choose from. The only one you have to play with is your character. You can mix and match the other three as you wish. So to look at these characters, you just left click on their picture and it will show up. And if you decide you want them, then you click in. Now I'm left clicking here, but I already have four people. So I'd have to left click on this person, put an X, and then I could add that person. Okay, or, or turn him off and add him. You know, whatever you want to do. Um, so to let you left click on them, then you can kind of see what their skills are. Now, here is something that uh, as you progress, you get to choose additional special abilities. Now, you can only utilize two. And then you have a third. Uh a third option that you can put in uh, at your, you know, that you want to do. Uh, let's see. Charge, cleave. All right. So basically same thing. You would just left click to turn it off and you can have three skills and then you left click to turn them on, uh, the ones that you want. But again, you, you know, left click, you can see the character, you can see their strength. Um, remember, as you're injured, you heal one injury per day of travel. So he's been injured, so I may not want to take him going into combat. Uh, and then you can see if they're, you know, this is a magician, that a mage that has some different uh, spells. Um, all right. That's passive, so she always does that. Uh, I want chain healing, chain lightning for her. I'm going to turn him off. Ooh, he has a heal power. Yeah, I like that. The heal is nice. And uh, let's see, that person died. Now, see, she only has two skills. Now, I, I picked her up from uh, another Dwarven Kingdom. But anyway, you can. I just want you to be able to see how you would go about evaluating who the people are and then making sure you pick your skills and then assigning your uh, artifacts to them. So like uh, this guy here, uh, Bavrigor, I've got him assigned to this Talisman of Protection. So I can click on that during combat, and it lasts 15 seconds. And if he receives damage, there's a 50% chance that it reduces whatever damage he gets by 80%. And then if com there is a cooldown period of that, and then once it cools down, then I can pop it again. So typically once I get surrounded uh, by enemies, I will pop that. Um, Let's see, I've got this person here, so I want to do that, and I want to take her off of that artifact, but who do I want to bring with me, question. All right, I'm going to leave him out because of the injury. He's full health, I'm full health. He's only got a thousand, oh no, I'm sorry, 4730. I haven't actually fought with him. I don't know. That's he. That's kind of a tank thing, isn't it? That he could just absorb power uh, damage. I mean, yeah. Not sure. Stun. Yeah. I do like her, but she gets damaged pretty easy. She's definitely uh, kind of like a a a, a rogue in uh, Warcraft very you know uh, takes a lot of damage uh, if, if she doesn't have somebody pulling aggro off of her um, let's see he has a dart orcs panic so for fighting orcs that might be good <laughs> uh, 
uh, if you've played Skyrim, which I assume most of you probably have, uh, you remember the guards? I used to be an adventurer like you, and then I took an arrow to the knee. That's uh, <laughs> if you look at his uh, fires an arrow into the enemy's knee. So it's all his fault for all those guards in Skyrim. That's funny. Uh, might ignite the target. Lots of damage over time. Like that. See, that's good because if they fall down, then they can be attacked by someone, a melee character, and even if they're at full health, you can decapitate them while laying on the ground. So that's actually neat. I think I'm going to try him. I've never used him. Uh, let's see. And I'm going to assign him there. All right. So, you know, again, I just kind of wanted to show you how to pick your characters, how to determine their skills, make sure you adjust their skills as you gain levels. Um, w. That's passive. All right, and then once you're set up, then you can go ahead and start your fight. Now, one of the things I want to focus on in the fight, we're going to pause it here. Whenever you use your special attacks, and, and we did cover this a little bit in one of the earlier videos, but I've seen, again, going back to the Steam community page, a lot of complaining about the AoE damage to your companions. You know, there there is... Um, yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, that you know, that happens. Uh, you do have to manage that, but it is manageable. You just have to take your time. It may mean not being able to use a special attack right away. Um, you know, but, but it is manageable. So, you know, I, I don't know, you know, what the big issue there is, um, but it is what it is. All right, let's see. So, no reason to sit through the whole battle. Um, uh, yeah, because we've been, you know, this has been about a 15-minute video. I just kind of wanted you to see how to set up your party for combat. And, uh, well, you know what? I tell you what, since most of my videos tend to go for about 25 minutes, we'll go ahead and do a little bit of combat. Uh, basically, the goal here is to kill 50 attackers. Um, one thing I did notice on some maps... Uh, when you're fighting, if you are far enough away, you will not pull the next group, and you will actually heal over that time. So after you finish a section, if you are not under attack, wait there for a few minutes, and you will heal back up to full health. And that has saved me on quite a few occasions, so maybe that'll be helpful to you. Um, let's see, let's go ahead and scroll in, and... All right, so he's got a heal. Okay, we're going to go ahead, because I have not done this yet. I have not used this, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Now, see, he's out in front, so what I'm going to do is I'm not even going to move my other characters yet until this fire is done. Um, now, they will auto-attack. Now, he has a... All right, we're going to shoot... All right, well, all right, let me right-click and get out of that. All right, so if I select Q, all right, then you get this directional arrow in the direction he's going to shoot. So let's say I want to shoot here. Now, if you can kind of look around this uh, party member, see how he highlights right there, right there, and then right here that highlight goes away? Well, that's your clue that if I aim in anywhere in this direction, that special attack is going to also hit our party member. You have to not be aiming towards him, so I really can't target anybody right now with a special attack. So I'm just going to right-click on this character for him to shoot at. Same thing, we're just going to click right click and get him running up into combat and her as well 
Now I want to come back up to him first so we can see the attack. But you can see how with this guy, I had to postpone his special attack or it would have hit Bavrigor. And I'm already a couple of notches down on health. So if he takes two or three bars of damage from that special attack, I've put myself in a big hole. So you have to, you have to use some tactics and common sense. And it's not just a, a button mash game that, you know, you throw it out there. And look, in reality, if I took a machine gun and I stood behind you and I sprayed, you know, full automatic gunfire at these guys down here, it's going to hit you in real life because you're in that area of, uh, that I'm aiming at. So I would have to hold my fire and move off to a side somewhere to get a different angle on my enemy. So, you know, I think that, you know, friendly fire makes the game more realistic, makes you have to pay more attention. Uh, again, some people just don't like that, and they like it to be, you know, spoon-fed to them and made real easy. And, hey, whatever, you know, that's their choice. But I, I think this is a good thing. So, anyway, let's get into the combat. Uh, I want to see this because I haven't seen him do this before. Oh, that was pretty awesome. All right, so these guys are all up here. All right now, why he ran all the way up after this guy, I don't know. Because he is armed with a gun. So I'm going to target him to go back. Ooh, well, they're all cut. Well, never mind. You know what? I'm going to have you go here. In fact, I'm going to have you target this way. Now, let me readjust this. All right, so if I do Q, so if I go this way, I only hit this one guy. Actually, I can hit that second guy up here at the top of the screen because he's highlighted. If I come here, then I might hit three guys. So I'm going to left click and that locks that in. All right, you, I'm going to right click here to get him here. You have to be, you know, this is a melee character. So if I do, you know, I could lock in his, his special attack here, but who's he hitting? Nobody. So again, I'm going to clear that out and I'm going to go there. I'm going to have him head this way and her we're going to do all right eh, okay right there if you notice that one little point I pick up three guys including this guy out here but it's Real fine, right there. So we're going to lock that in and try to take out three. All right. And these guys walked right into that, so that was a great shot. Okay, so it's about time. You know, these guys are going to continue moving while she starts that spell casting, but that really just blew them out. Now, I don't know if they're all dead, but, you know, all right, now this... This guy has closed into range. Now you see when I highlight it, it highlights that orc. So we're going to do that. All right, I think he got these guys. We're going to bring him around here. And I want to bring her kind of behind the scene now. Okay, so they're not dead, but they are injured. They all took a little bit, a couple of them took a good bit of damage, so that's good. All right, you, let's go ahead and hit him. Now see, I can't do that because it'll hit my guy. So we're going to just have her come up and melee attack with him. All right, we're going to lock him in. And all right now, see how he pushed him a little bit? Now we can actually special attack without hitting. Now, here's something to pay attention. Well, no, he's not down. I thought he was, but he's not. All right, so we're going to get him there. All right, you're working on him.
Oh, I'm going to pop his trinket here. He doesn't have any special attack ability because I don't have enough power saved. But I popped my trinket, which gives me increases the damage of my auto attacks by 100%. So he will actually start doing... Damn, come on. There he is, right there. He will actually start doing a lot more damage. All right, back up to here. And this is what combat, you have to pause it, move around. Don't, you know, don't feel you have to use special attacks every time they're up. Um, all right, like right here, I'm going to try to hit those three guys. And sometimes you can't target them, and you have to un, you know, unfreeze it, you know, unpause it for a second. All right, let's see, who do we have down here? All right, he's dead. You can tell he's dead because he's white now, not red. All right, I do have a couple of archers. They can put a hurting on you, so I am going to. I don't see anybody else over there, so I am gonna have my guy. Do a charge that way. And then I'm going to have her start attacking him. All right. Now he's close. All right. She can come help here. All right. Come on. There we go. Oh. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to have him heal himself a little bit. So, you know, putting these heals, and it has a cooldown, you see, but he can use that. To heal himself rather than a potion so that's actually really good um, and he just acquired that recently now I haven't fought with him a lot so uh, or I hadn't changed it out before so that'll be good to see all right now you see how this guy fell down Oh, and he got killed because he shot him. Oh, you know what? Let me do... There you go. All right, who's over here? Anybody? No? All right, so you're going to come up this way. You're going to come up that way as well. All right. So... She's coming in. I have him. No, nope, he's got somebody on him right there. Send him up this way. Him up this way. And you see right here, look, I, I'm going to clear that. We're going to hit Q. Now, if I aim this way, in fact, let's move the camera angle all the way up to 12 o'clock. All right, so you can see where I've got to aim to hit both of them right there. So I can aim anywhere over he from here to here without affecting her. So you'll want to get it dead on if you can, but you can move that off to the side. Well, and it'll still hit him. So, you know, it's just a matter of aiming correctly. Uh, you know, using your 
using your abilities to the best that you can. Alright, so I need... Where are those arrows coming from? Oh, here's the guy back here. Oh, there he is. Okay, good. Sometimes you can't see where they're at, and you have to figure it out, because the guys with arrows do a lot of damage. Okay. We're going to... I'm going to send her down there. All right, let's see. We're going to hit W. All right, did I kill that guy? Yes, I did. All right. Trying to see if I can get to him here or if I've got to go around. Okay. They look way up high, so we're going to come back this way. All right, you go that way. No, actually, so he shot that guy. All right, so we're going to get them all. We're going to get them all down on this guy. Hopefully that gets us a little away from the uh, other. The other archers and that'll buy us a few minutes to heal up all right so these guys can't shoot us anymore and if we watch you'll see you'll see we get a, a tick here pretty quickly so we'll let everybody get to full health especially this guy well we don't want to draw anybody in yet so anyway, hopefully you can see that. So we're about halfway through. Well, we're over halfway through our our list. Now, the other thing, you still can't save in the middle of combat. So keep that in mind. But this is a way that you can rest up in the middle of combat and heal your party, which, you know, basically resets and you're already halfway through the quest. So hope that video's helped out a little bit. Uh, and we'll go ahead and put the cut here, and thanks for watching. Check the game out. It is pretty cool, but again, you know, people are saying they're finishing it in 8 to 10 hours, and that may be. Maybe I'm just extremely slow, uh, but uh, I've been going for about 12, 12 plus in this one uh, today now, and uh, I don't know where I'm at. I may be close to getting done. I am about to reach the last fortress to forge our secret weapon, and then I don't know where we go from there, if we go directly to end game or if there's some other things that we have to accomplish. But uh, anyway, I will maybe come back and do one more video um, at that point and just kind of wrap it up and give a final tally on game time and whatnot. You know, just so you can make an informed decision. But like I said, you know, 10, 12 hours, you know, I, I'm... I'm good, you know, I mean, would I like it to have been, to, to have been a little bit cheaper? Yes, you know, because, I mean, shoot, if we look at, just for example, Skyrim, you know, 2,126 hours played, uh, you know, and that was for about 60 or $50, um, not bad, um, Heck, I've already got 10 hours on Special Edition, and it was free, uh, you know, on PC. Sorry to you console gamers. Uh, but, uh, you know, anyway, I mean, even, you know, Hearts of Iron, and I don't I don't particularly like that game because I don't understand it, but I've got 105 hours on that. I've got 677 hours on Football Manager, and I am really no good at that. Fallout New Vegas, I've got 24 hours, and I don't think I've gotten even a quarter of the way through the game. Uh, just not 
not enjoyable enough for me to keep playing it, you know. I go back periodically. No Man's Sky, 60 hours. I did fire it up to check out the new patch. Uh, but, you know, 60 hours before I burned out on that. And that was a $60 game. So, you know, a buck an hour. There's not a whole lot I can do for a buck an hour. Um, but anyway... Enough of that. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in my next video. And please check out the other videos on my channel uh, if you have not. Take care.